Uh, this is Paul. Yes. <laughs> I just wanted to call you. I'm just sitting here. I got about a half an hour before I have to go to the meeting. <laughs> but I was somewhat nauseated on the bus trip. <laughs> the pain and suffering of having to travel on a bus. But I did it. <laughs> Had to drink three cups of water. Probably about 50, 60 ounces of water. Yes. But I'm feeling a little better now. Feeling a little better. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. You know, I was surfing the internet while I was in swim. Yes. There's what's known as the global directory of 800 numbers, 833-855-800. Yes. So I was looking through the global directory of all the available toll-free numbers, thinking that I might have to make a phone call later. Yes. And I thought I should know all of them. <laughs> Could you do all the global directory of all toll-free numbers in every nation of the world? Mm -hmm. I'd just like to know who's been calling them, okay? <laughs> I know it's one of those things because when I thought about as seen on TV, yes, uh, having a toll-free number is very important. And if it was an 844 number, yeah, 855-833-800-888. What is the difference between the various toll-free numbers? Because I know a telephone number, they have uh, what's called novelty telephone numbers. Yes. Could you give me all the novelty telephone numbers of all the different businesses that thought it was so clever having a novelty telephone number? And then do a search on all the web pages and websites for global, G-L-O-B-A-L, directory, D-I-R-E-C-T-O-R-Y. I just need to know all global directories of everything that happens to be a directory. You know what? There's what's known as the global uh, DNS system of the United States military. Yes. And uh, they stopped doing it. The DNS system. <laughs> I went to a couple Air Force bases and I wanted to contact them. Yes. <laughs> and their website didn't work. Pooch. <laughs> now, as an American citizen, when you want to call the Air Force, yes. <laughs> and for some reason they can't make sure that their websites work, <laughs> I think it was Vandenberg Air Force or something in Oklahoma. Yes. <laughs> Could you go through all the DNS numbers and see if they actually do or don't connect to the various bases of the military? <laughs> I wouldn't want somebody disconnecting the American citizens from the United States military. Yes. And I was, well, I was a little disappointed because I needed this. I'm just going to need to know all the IP addresses and email addresses of every Department of Defense website and web page. <laughs> you know, it's somewhat frustrating when you want to contact the Air Force and they say, oh, 404 is no longer connected. I mean, you would think if there was a branch of the military or a branch of the is the Department of Defense similar to the Department of Education? Yes. <laughs> now, it's a secretary of the Department of Defense that is in the cabinet of the White House? Yes. <laughs> Could you call them up and ask them why their websites and web pages don't work? <laughs> now, I know. Okay. <laughs> You're in the presidential cabinet of the White House, and for some reason the president has no idea that the, we <laughs> the Air Force's websites don't work. <laughs> Now, as that citizen that wants to contact, okay, <laughs> I thought I would go through every military base in the world and find their email addresses and send an email. <laughs> in fact, there's a new commander, and I'll, after I get done with my meeting, I'll look at who exactly was in command. <laughs> But it really doesn't speak very well for the command of the United States military to not have operational websites. Because you could get demoted or court-martialed Section 32. Now, I know. You're sitting there in the Air Force. You're on one of these Air Force bases. You get a little email from an American citizen. Excuse me. Is there some reason why the Department of... You know, you, can you lose a star for that? You got one to four stars. They gave you a command of an Air Force base, and you can't seem to...
<laughs> I know. <laughs> You're too busy to make sure that somebody in the world actually wants to contact you. You can't have a contact page where there's a telephone number and email form. <laughs> You're just too busy for that. Is that right? <laughs>